It's five years in the future of Valorant. The VP is on its last stand, bunkered down with only a few agents remaining alive. Mirror Earth is on the brink of total invasion. Raid Knight is being teleported to Mirror Earth, fueling the war effort. The world is on fire from battlefield to battlefield. It's starting to sink in that despite the Valorant Protocol's best efforts, they could not defend their home from the invaders. A mortally wounded Brimstone turns to his second-in-command Sage, one of the few Radiants left alive, who cannot heal with their powers due to Mirror Chaos' global Radiant suppressive ability, and says, I'm sorry, Sage. I failed you. I wasn't strong enough, and closed his eyes for the last time. With the leader of Earth's greatest defense gone forever, a victory for Mirror Earth is all but certain, and humanity, for the first time in existence, will not have control over its destiny. But how did we get to this point? What happened that changed the tide in the war which led to Mirror Earth's domination? And most importantly, what would happen if Mirror Earth won? In this video, I'm going to share my story of what I envision a world controlled by Mirror Earth would look like. Would they be extremely hostile and wipe out the population? Or would they be saviors rather than conquerors? Stick to the very end of the video to hear my whole story. And let me know in the comments if you enjoyed listening to this and would like to see more stories slash theory videos in the future. But before we get in depth with the story, I have something cool to show you. Have you guys ever had a really sus jet that you swear is a smurf and you want to check on their stats? Or have you ever wanted to check my stats and see how awful I am in Valorant? it well, welcome to Valorant Tracker, the sponsor of today's video. Guys, Valorant Tracker is literally the best tool ever to track your performance in-game or anyone in the same match as you. With the live match feature, you can see who on the enemy team is actually really good and, well, who isn't. Like, if you see that the enemy Killjoy has, like, an insane KD or something, you may want to tell your team to push the other site that Killjoy is not on. You can go over your own stats all the way back to when you started playing Valorant and see who your best agent is, best weapon, and even your best map. Also, the match history tool is fantastic for breaking down how you did recently and what you can do to focus on getting better. Using my link in the description or the pinned comment, you can download Valorant Tracker for free. And don't forget to search my account on their website, SirJeppy hashtag 9987 to see how bad at Valorant I really am. Thank you, Valorant Tracker, for sponsoring today's video. Okay, everyone, so what would a world successfully invaded by Mirror Earth look like? Well, before we get to that part, we need to theorize on what could have happened that turned the tide of the war. Because I feel like right now in Valorant's lore, Earth 1, which is our Earth, is very much in control of this war and Mirror Earth seems to be at our mercy. But I think that's exactly the reason why Mirror Earth could have a chance of winning. They truly are desperate and need to do something fast to save their own planet which might lead them into more uncivilized ways of combat. We already know that so far they don't particularly care too much about civilian casualties because, I mean, the spike utterly destroys and reshapes the landscape of the surrounding area. <sighs> hey, Control, so about the package... Like, I can imagine that people have died at the Venice incident of 2049. Plus, I feel like they have the upper hand when it comes to mobilizing and transporting units because, after all, they are the ones with working teleporters currently that can take them back and forth between worlds. But mostly, desperation is the key factor that will play the biggest role in this story. History shows that the more dedicated and willing to fight for a cause an army is, they are more likely to win. So with that being said, I think that the agents on the Mirror Valorant Protocol will find new ways to enhance their powers or devices for non-radiance. I already talked about a possible global radiant suppression device that KO used in the intro to this video. Of course, this is just a story, but what if Mirror Killjoy and KO got together to amplify his Null Command Ultimate to a global level and powered KO enough to sustain that suppression indefinitely. 
perhaps with Neon's electricity? Maybe the Sage theory I talked about in a recent video becomes reality when Sage can use her powers not only for her healing, but for weaponry. Maybe if Mirror Sky was given enough of a motive, she could finally harness and control the power to summon insane monsters like dragons that she already tried creating. The list goes on and on, but my point is that if given enough of a reason to try harder, they may just find a way to outwit and outperform Earth One's Valor Protocol and, well, you know, the rest of the militaries in the world. So the same scenario plays out as earlier in the intro. Somehow the Mirror Agents have found a way to amplify their powers and devices to a dominating level and just won every single battle from here on out. Each and every time, either a country's military or the Valor Protocol would simply lose and the remaining forces would suffer with all of the KIA adding up. And along with that, one by one, the Valor Protocol will lose their agents. It's hard telling who would be the first ones to ultimately lose their lives. It might even be some of the Radiants who have relied on their powers for years now, but can't use them anymore due to Mirror KO's global null command. But regardless, the front lines will crumble and they would be pushed back to the brink of collapse. The remaining agents on the VP and likely other world leaders are taking shelter in a bunker, all knowing the fall of Earth is upon them. They must surrender. They have lost. With Sage now the leader of the protocol with Brimstone's unfortunate death, she makes a transmission that will save the remaining humans of Earth-1. She surrenders to Mirror Earth. They won. The inhabitants of Mirror Earth get the news and celebrations erupt around the globe as they finally have a future to live. But at what cost? Is it morally correct to wipe out another planet to the brink of extinction just to save yourselves? I guess every creature alive wants to, well, stay alive and will do everything they can to keep going. But deep down, I know the Mirror Earth aren't simply evil. They have showed morality and were eager to help work together with us, Earth One, in the past that will benefit everyone mutually. They wanted to work with us with the Everett Lind Research Lab on Fracture to build a sustainable energy source for both worlds but that was destroyed, causing tensions to rise. Incredible that something so small can create such opportunity. Even the Mirror Earth Phoenix showed remorse for our Phoenix in the duality cinematic. He very easily could have killed our Phoenix, but he was too stunned to move when finding out who the enemy was. Well, himself. Hands up, come on. You should see your face. And I think this needs to be said that it is likely very hard to take an enemy's life full knowing that someone on your home planet matched that enemy's looks and personality. It would likely make you feel very guilty that you killed a mirror copy of possibly someone you know. Now, I know I painted a very gloom and doom picture of what a mirror earth invasion to save their planet would ultimately look like, but in all reality, it most likely wouldn't play out like that. Again, I don't think Mirror Earth is ultimately like all evil. They are just trying to save themselves after all. So I think they take a more conservative approach, trying not to damage or kill as many people as they can. They would want more lands to freely move back and forth with, you know, with war, everything would be destroyed. So they would most likely try to keep the environment and infrastructure as intact as possible. They would hopefully want a peaceful world where they can get along with others on Earth-1. Of course, war is ugly and lives would be lost, of course, but I think they do it in such a way that they would maybe be forgiven when the time is right. I don't think they straight up pull a Thanos wiping out half the population of a planet for a nonsensical ideology, but they would want a sustainable relationship 
with their, well, invaded world. So do you think the battle for Earth would play out in my first story I offered or the second one, total destruction or mercy and morality? What would you predict? If you enjoyed the video, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to notifications if you're new. Now, with all that being said, Jippy out.